Welcome back. 21 minutes after the hour. Right now, we're heading into day three of an urgent and massive search for a convicted child killer, Ramon Alston. Officials now raising the reward to $35,000 for any information regarding the 30-year-old who escaped custody and ran off into the woods while being transported to a hospital. In 2018, he was sentenced to life in prison for shooting and killing a one-year-old girl. Dina Harley from our news station affiliate in North Carolina has been following the story. And Dina, this has to be a situation that has the community on edge. Yeah, certainly a lot of people reaching out to us saying that they're just feeling a bit uneasy around here in Orange County. You know, it's been a really exhaustive few days here in that search and obviously turning up no real information about where Alston went. We do know this morning that the search for him is kind of shifting a little bit. The Department of Adult Corrections is now taking over the search for Alston. Law enforcement made that decision yesterday. They say they're moving away from the ground search that they've been doing over the last two days here in North Carolina after hundreds of all officers repeatedly searched the five mile radius around the hospital that he escaped nearby. Orange County Sheriff Charles Blackwood here, he says he's confident that Alston is not in that area. And so now the search will move to a more investigative model. Sheriff Blackwood does think that Alston had help in his escape. Yesterday, he also told a bunch of us that they're looking into phone data and any communications Alston had while he was in prison. We know that Alston had infractions for cell phone use while he was in prison, most recently in January. Blackwood also told us he's actually known Alston since he was a baby and that the two transporting officers did everything they could to stop this escape, but that Alston just clearly had a plan. He was a troubled child and he was a, he's been involved in criminal activity since he was a juvenile. He's extremely cagey, he's extremely dangerous, and he has nothing to lose. Now, we also heard from the family of that one-year-old baby that Alston was convicted of murdering back in 2015. They still live in this area, so you can imagine this is just really a heartbreaking situation for them. We heard from them yesterday. They did release a statement saying that they were displeased with the whole situation, but that they didn't really want to say more than that. In North Carolina, Dina Harley, back to you, Nick. Dina, thank you so much.